Hello everyone, it's Rajul Patek this side and watching my YouTube channel Five Friends, this is the third tutorial in our Piano Tiles game series and in this tutorial we will be implemented Tile Click Ok, but before implementing the Tile Click uh, here I want to I want to fix the issue that I created in the last tutorial see there are few students who are saying they were not able to understand what this line was doing that is this scrolling part ok and there is an issue with this scrolling part let me just run this game and show you what is the issue and then we'll try to fix it ok the tiles are working good but you see there's this space there's this space between tiles like here here ok and we don't want this space because it doesn't look good yes see there's this space so what i want is i want to fix this issue and for doing this i'll be using a different method now initially we were dependent on the scrolling but you said that this scrolling part is not understandable to them so let's try to implement it using a different method okay? so once more what i will be doing here is see uh, there are these incoming tiles like this what i will be doing uh, when the top of this tile this is the top of the tile of each tile when the top of this tile uh, gets just below this uh, zero okay we said this uh, zero and this is the height okay so when the top of the tile gets greater than zero pixel we will create a new tile just this like this okay so this is what we are going to implement now so let's try to do this and it's very easy to implement this time okay first of all let's just remove the this scrolling part we don't want the scroll now okay we will do it without the scrolling so let me just re remove the scrolling line and here also we do not want the scrolling variable we have no need of it then what i'll be doing is uh, first of all whenever the game starts i'll create a tile automatically so let me just copy these lines and paste it here just below here okay so we created a tile soon the game starts okay so here we were uh, creating the tile group and just after creating the tile group we created a tile uh, ourselves and added it to a tile group okay? since the tile group uh, tile is created so a number of tiles we will initialize it with one because we have already created one tile okay and we will later change it but for now let's just keep it like this okay so number of tiles is one because we have created one tile now here we will check if the length of tile group is greater than one uh, sorry greater than zero it means if there's a tile in the tile group or you can say tile list for better understanding it what we will uh, do is we will fetch the last tile of the tile group okay currently there is uh, there is one tile in this tile group and by last means this is the first tile so we will try to get the first tile from the tile group so we will get it like this tile group and dot sprites this is a method and here i will pass index as negative one okay uh, what this does is this converts uh, this group to a list okay currently we have a group and if you want to access the tiles from the tile group by using index we will not be able to do it okay so if you want to convert the tile group in a list we have to write this line that is uh, use this method dot sprites and it will return all the sprites in the tile group in the form of list and then we can access any element using by indexing okay so by minus one is a uh, means i want uh, it means that I want to access the last sprite or last tile in the tile group. So we have got the last tile here. Now we have to check if the top of the tile group is greater than zero. So if t dot text dot top, remember in the object dot py, we are working on the tile using the rect, okay, a tile rect. So if the t dot rect dot y and plus speed, okay. Now this speed is variable. So we have to keep this thing in mind because sometimes the speed may be 5, 6, 7. So what we will be doing is we will check uh, by adding these two things. If it is greater than 0, then we will just create a new tile. Okay, that's all. So we will just create a new tile like this. If t dot rank dot top plus speed is greater than or equal to 0, then we will create a new tile. And here we have to fix our y before uh, creating the new tile. So our y new y will be minus tile height. Let's just cut it, paste it here, and then uh, minus zero minus t dot rec dot top. Now what does this what this does is since we are adding this speed 
to our t dot track dot top to check if it's greater than zero because uh, let's say uh, the tile top is at currently at minus three pixels and the speed is six pixels okay six pixels so if we add it so uh, it becomes uh, minus three plus six becomes three okay so it gets greater than zero so we have to keep this thing in uh, mind similarly zero minus a t dot track dot top will become plus three okay so this just fixes the thing that we have created here so this will be the new y and here we will pass the y okay so y and then we will well, and the rest of the things will be same okay again we are increasing score like this but uh, in a few moment we will implement by clicking the tiles okay we will increase the score by clicking the tiles so let's just try running this game and let's see if it works fine or not yes see now there's less gap okay this gap is still visible but we will fix it in a moment okay so yes it's, it looks good currently and yes it looks good so the next thing that uh, i want to implement is uh, we have to implement the click part or not tiles we want that whenever we click the tile the scores increases okay for this what we are what we are going to do is instead of uh, updating the entire tile group like this tile group dot update and passing this speed we are going to use the for loop for tile in tile group tile dot update speed okay so again uh, the previous issue that uh, we just i showed was uh, sorry uh, initially i was updating the entire tile group like this you can update the entire tile group like this or you can just use your for loop on this and try uh, update each tile separately so we are doing the same thing here and it will be having the same result it will not change much okay okay so it looks good currently now we have to implement the clicking part on it okay so let's uh, implement the clicking part so uh, by clicking we mean uh, mouse clicks okay uh, if you are running it on android it can be uh, it can be equivalent to your touches on android surface so we have to, we have to implement this thing here we can do it like this if event dot type equals pi game dot mouse button down remember once again it will also consider your uh, touches on android screens okay pos we will create a position variable pos and store the uh, position where our mouse has been clicked on the screen okay but before that we have to create a variable here pos equals none okay like this we will create a position variable none and then we will just make the value of position none every time when this loop restarts okay what this will do is whenever we click on the screen it will store the position of our click in the pause variable but when the loop completes this pause variable will again become none okay so here now we will check if position which is equal to pause what we will uh, do it is we will check collision with each tile if the uh, if the position where my uh, mouse currently is where mouse where my mouse has been clicked uh, collides with the tile then we will uh, increase the score so if tile dot rect remember we are uh, iterating on the tile group so that's why we are able to use it like this tile dot rect dot collide point this is a method and it takes the position in x and y format a tuple of x comma y and checks if, it, if that position collides with the tile okay so here we have to pass the pos pause variable or position variable currently let's just kill the cut tile tile dot kill okay and score plus equals one initially we were increasing the score as the tiles were generating but this is not the correct way to increase the score we want to increase the score only when we click on the tile okay so here we can print the score to to show you what the score currently is let's just again try running this and let's see if it works or not so one two three four it's working fine okay currently we are killing the tile that's why it just becomes invisible okay uh, it means uh, i mean it gets deleted okay so it looks good everything works fine 
but instead of just killing it like this just destroying it from the screen entirely what i want to do is i want to make it uh, transparent okay it will still be visible and it will only get destroyed when it goes past the window so instead of uh, killing tile i will implement something else in our tile class we will create a new variable that is self dot alive this will keep a boolean value which will tell if the tile is uh, clicked or not clicked if it is alive it means the tile is active it is not been clicked and if it is false it means tile has been clicked okay so that's all here we will write like this if tile dot alive then we will decorate it like this whatever we have done like this else we will decorate uh, you will just make it transparent okay so it's just a uh, just it's just up to you if you want to kill it you can just write this line tile dot kill otherwise you can implement this part what i am going to implement that is uh, the same just copy paste the this line okay and instead of cell dot color see uh, we have write a line here uh, we have wrote a line here that is pygame dot src alpha it means we can use transparent colors in our tile okay color uh, if you use normal colors in pygame you will only be able to use rgb values but if you use a transparent surface you can use rgba okay uh, colors where a can be your transparency value okay so we are just going to pass this value here that will be equal to 0 comma 0 comma uh, 0 comma 90 0 comma 0 comma 0 is the value of rgb which means it's black color but by 90 it means transparent okay and instead of killing the tile uh, the part of the tile is done uh, so instead of just killing the tile what we can do is uh, we can just make tile dot alive variable false tile dot alive false that's all so now this will not destroy the tile okay uh, but what it will do is it will just make it transparent tile uh, we have some issue here let's see what's in tile is not defined okay if tile dot rec dot alive uh, where is this cell dot alive okay sorry here it's here self dot alive so let's just try to run this again and let's see if it works or not yes so if you click it it just become invisible uh, sorry transparent like this okay so though there is a gap when it, when it becomes transparent it just merges okay so the gap that you are able to see is because of a white line that we are drawing white border that we are drawing that's why this creates the gap okay so yes this is it and when we click the speed is increasing like this it looks good okay uh, the next part that we have to implement is we have to uh, close the game or end the game when the one when any of the tile reaches the bottom without being clicked okay so we have to implement this part and it's very easy here we will do it again here if tile dot uh, rec dot bottom okay so again i didn't update the entire tile group just like this because of a reason because uh, if we are iterating on it uh, we are doing multiple things we are updating it we are checking collision with the mouse clicks and we are also checking if some tile has uh, got past the window so if tile dot dot bottom is greater than equal to height and tile dot alive it means if the tile has not been clicked yet but it reaches the bottom then our game got, just gets over uh, see uh, we are not implementing the next part yet we will just make the window get closed okay we will just make our running variable false it will just close the window when any of the tile reaches the bottom we will implement the replay button and go to home button like these things in the next tutorials okay so this currently we, we will just end the game when any of the tile reaches the bottom so let's just do this so if we play the game like this it looks good okay but if we just leave uh, some tile and re it reaches the bottom like this tile the window will close yes so it's worked correctly perfectly so this is how it works okay so yes this is it for this video guys in the next tutorial we will try to implement the sound 
and the replay buttons okay home page and the score page like these things so yes this is it uh, if you love this video leave a like or a dislike if you are new to my channel subscribe it thank you see you in the next tutorial